good morning good morning now we will discuss on how we are going to design a patch antenna using hfss right before going to do this we have to choose the units here we will be designing the structures in centimeters so i have chosen centimeter now the solution type right click on hfss design go to solution type click on driven terminal and click okay fine and first you have to design a substrate for which i have taken a box fine so this is what the box we have drawn and now you have to set the parameters the positions were minus 5 minus 4.5 and then 0 and the value of x is 10 value of y is 9 and z is 0.32 now press okay so this is your box right i will just minimize it and i'll show you how this would be right so this is your y axis this is your x axis and this is your z axis fine and now we have to assign the material for this substrate before that i am going to rename this box as substrate for easy understanding right so i have named it as a substrate and now the material i have to choose it was a default as vacuum now you can go to vacuum material and then go for edit option and there you can search the material by its name which is called as rogers rt duroid 5880 tm i am choosing that and click okay now we have renamed the box as substrate one and the material is rogers rt duroy and nothing else i have done so i'm just press okay and now you can go to view fit all active view so this is your active view for the substrate which you view have created now the second thing is you have to design a ground right so to create a ground draw a rectangle so i have drawn a rectangle and now i am renaming the rectangle as infinite ground right so i have renamed it as infinite ground and now you can just drag this so this is my rectangle i have renamed as it as infinite ground now i have to select the size for which i have to double click on it and the sizes were minus 5 minus 4.5 and then 0 which should be as similar to the size of your substrate because ground should be kept at the lower part of your substrate and then the value of x axis is 10 and then y axis is 9 so i have given the position as similar to the substrate because i have to locate the ground at the bottom of my substrate 
and the axis is an z axis the value of x is 10 and y is 9 okay so now if i am clicking this you can see the ground now i am clicking on this substrate so this is my substrate fine now here you can see it is unassigned now we have to assign so go to edit select by name you can see the two things which we have created now click on infinite ground and then ok right and now go to hfss boundaries assign perfect e right now in this name i am going to give you the name as perfect e1 and whatever the name I have given here, that has to be used here. So, infinite ground. Fine. And then I have to do a check over this because this is my infinite ground plane. If you are unchecking this, then this won't be a ground plane. I'm just checking it and then click OK. Now, you can see initially there it was unassigned now it was assigned with perfect e right now you are going to design a infinite ground cutout for which you need a circle right so i have drawn a circle and i am naming that as cutout cut out right so now you can see i have created a cut circle in the name of cut out but it is placed somewhere else i have to bring that over here for which i have to give the locations for a circle the position is taken as 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 0 comma 0 and the radius is 0 0.16 once i have done this my circle is brought into this picture. I will show you that. So, this is my cutout. Right. I have brought that over here. Now, I am going to edit. Select. Select by name. The cutout I have to select. Right. Cutout as well as infinite ground. I have to select both. And I have to do a subtraction between these two. Fine. I have selected both. Now, I am going to modeler. As I told you, we have to subtract modeler. Go to boolean. And then, choose the option of subtract. What I have to subtract? I have to subtract my cutout from my infinite ground. So, those two were misplaced. So, I am selecting this and pushing that towards right hand side. And I am selecting infinite ground and moving that to left hand side. Now I am going to subtract cut out from infinite ground. So that portion alone is getting cut off. Could you able to see that? Right. So my cut out is getting ready. I got this by subtracting my infinite ground. And the cut out I am getting this whole. Right. The next step is to create a patch. I have to create a patch for which I have to draw a rectangle. So I have drawn a rectangle. I am naming that as, that as patch. So I have named that. And now I could found the patch here and which is unassigned. So now I have to assign the position of the patch. It is minus 2, minus 1.5 and then 0 0.32. And x is 4 and y is 3. So this is my patch. 
So I'll show you one by one. First we have created the substrate and then we have created the ground and then we have created this cutout. Right? And then we have created this patch. Fine. Now we have to create a so before going to this nothing was assigned to this patch I have to assign that so go to HFSS boundaries assign perfect E and now the name given to this is perfect E underscore Patch. You should not check this because it is not an infinite ground plane. Just rename it and click OK. You can see the name over here. Right? So this is your patch we have created and this is the infinite ground and this is your substrate. Fine. Now we are going to create a coax using cylindrical shape right so the cylinder is renamed as coax And the material we have to choose is Roberts or the Duroid. Click OK. Fine. Where is the cylinder? I have created a cylinder under this Roberts or the Duroid. Now I have to assign the properties. Right. There is the position minus 0 0.5, 0 and then 0. The position is that X, Y and Z. And the radius is as similar to the circle for the cutout we have defined. And the height is minus 0 0.5. So, instead of 1 minus, I have given 2. Fine. So, I have created a cylinder over here. Next, I am going to create a coax pin name it as coax pin and the positions were minus 0 0.5 0 and 0 0 0.07 and height is minus 0 0.5 and it is set so i have a cylinder so this is one cylinder inside that cylinder i have an coax pin right And now I am going to create a circle. And name that as fourth one. And I have to assign the positions as minus 0 0.5 0 and 0 the radius is 0 0.16 and now I am going to choose view edit select by name Port 1, HFSS, Assign, Wave Port, 